one of the simple applications that we can do is use these fibers to connect uh, devices either in textiles or in 3D embedded destructors. And for example, here we have a LED light uh, and we have some of the fibers here that are connected to the LED and we can apply a voltage and you can see the fibers can uh, transport the current and light up the LED. Another of the applications that we are looking to is pressure sensors. Uh, what we do is we in put these fibers uh, in textiles and we build these pressure sensors that you can see they are completely flexible, they are textile, you could, you could wear them or for example you could put them in robots uh, and, and what they do is the, the fibers actually show a change in resistance uh, that depends on the pressure that you are applying. So I'm gonna uh, connect the contacts. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna press in the pressure sensor and you will see here how the resistance of the device diminishes. So you see it going down and it depends on the force that I apply. So if I start doing like different, you will see how it goes up and down. And it's actually very sensitive. Uh, you can see that if we don't apply any pressure, we actually get overflow, which means that the resistance is so high that the, the multimeter cannot measure anything. But we actually go several orders of magnitude from mega ohms to kilo ohms to almost ohms by applying pressure. 